There's a proposed cell tower in Greenville. It has some folks there in Greenville County trying to stop it in its tracks, Amy. That's right. Council approved leasing part of a dog park for the tower, but people using this park say they don't want it, despite its proposed benefits. 7 News reporter Nikkel Smith explains tonight. A place for wagging tails and chasing tennis balls. It's a great place for my small dog, Ginger. The Greenville County-owned dog park off Old Spartanburg Road in Taylors means a lot to folks like Mark Livernoy. And I meet with a group of people that come around 4 o'clock every afternoon, and that's seven days a week. That's why they were disappointed to learn their tree-lined view could also include a cell phone tower. Just picturing it in my mind, what it would be like, and they they've destroyed the small dog park. Greenville County leaders say the improved coverage can also benefit public safety. We understand that somebody's not going to win, but this is probably the worst place you could do it, in the middle of a dog park next to a children's playground. It's just not right. Milestone Communications President Len Forkis says Greenville County stands to make about $12,000 per year from the tower right now. He says that number could increase to even $40,000 if more cell phone carriers are added. Where have we ended up without saying that people's lives and health is over any amount of money. In a statement to 7 News, the developer says, quote, we put our faith in organizations like the World Health Organization, the FDA, FCC, and the American Cancer Society, which have determined there is no credible evidence to indicate that cell phone towers pose a risk to people living or working nearby. I think I would be uneasy sitting underneath the tower with my dogs. County leaders say the tower's impact on the park would be limited, and the proposal is still in the very early stages. Reporting in Greenville County, Nickel Smith, 7 News. Zoning and permitting are still parts of the process, haven't even been started yet. County leaders are saying more public meetings will be held in the future and people's concerns will be taken into account. There is a website that details this project and you can read all about it this weekend on WSPA.com.